All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. And in today's episode, yeah, this episode might be taken down for, uh, um, well, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call it bullying, but um, I am going to be going after next two episodes. I'm going to be going after a, a few people where I feel that they believe that their opinion matters way too much than it really does. And, you know, to an extent, yeah, I, I, I imagine that some people, like, their uh, opinion matters. I'm pretty sure they got followers where it's all like, oh, yeah, I'm curious to just know how they uh, overall feel on this topic. But, um, anyways, but no, um, I am going to be separating uh, the two episodes. I'm not going to be talking about, well, I am going to be talking about the two brothers in this episode. And then the next person will be, they'll have their own episode and stuff, you know, because I feel like that. That's just, that's just too much toxicness in uh, one episode and things. So, but anyways, but no, I'm going to be talking about Andrew and Tristan Tate. Both of those guys are extremely cringy content creators i mean they're they're pretty much like the front runners of uh disrespect women on the internet and you know don't have no con consequences behind it and to me it's just crazy because it's like i know you guys had to have had a mom like or at least a family member that's a woman you know but i i highly doubt who knows maybe they did maybe they uh they just came from an all man um you know just family and stuff maybe the mom she was a little bit manly too but it's just one of those things where it's like, I don't get how, on some real stuff, like, I don't get how you can have just, it's like, it's small as, well, not as small, but just like one person, one person in your life, your mom, you can literally have her in your life. And even if it is on some stuff where it's all like, oh, you know, like, I, regardless of whatever the situation is, like, if your mom is no longer here with us, I'm like, fam, that stuff like that, I, I know people will probably be thinking along the lines like, you know, yeah, if you grew up without a mom, you probably are not going to have that much respect for women and stuff. But here's the thing, though. Outside of having my mom and sister, I had a lot of female friends growing up. You know, like, I, I just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a backstory about, with me and stuff, I was a class clown. So I was constantly making friends with people. And, yeah, I was making friends with a lot of different uh, women back when I was in school and stuff. And even still to this day, even with content creating, I find myself making a lot of uh, female friends. And that's one thing that I'll never find myself doing is doing saying something disrespectful to them or just overall women now if people want to call me a simp if they want to argue with that they want to say everything that they want to say about it, i'm like fam that is on you but at the end of the day i have my reasons on why i will never I, that was even something i remember it was like i i didn't realize it was shocking to some but anyways um no at my old job i remember my uh manager uh she was like a she was like the manager and the catering manager so she had like a two for one thing going on but anyway shout out to her she knows who she is well there was a few of them but i mean it was it was like the last one um that we uh we overall had and stuff but anyways anyways there was no disrespect to the other ones but it was just the last one like nah me and her we would be cracking and jokes a lot and stuff but no i remember one time um like because like that was one thing about my old job we was always constantly sitting down having conversations and all that crap and uh no i remember that was uh oh uh, i think it was the chef at the time where he had uh it was like i think it might have been a customer and uh he said he was like oh you know i bet you wanted to call her the b word i ain't gonna say because you know some kids might be listening and stuff but anyways I, I said, and I was all like, I did not, the thing was this, because I feel like people will probably be thinking like, you know, on some man stuff, you, you know, you want to be all macho and this and that. And I'm all like, nah, bro, I think of it like this. I'm, I'm going to have conversations that I would have in front of like a female friend or a female family member, mom, sister, cousin, auntie. Uh, you know, if I had any, uh, um, nieces, I, in front of them, but I had said that in front of the, uh, chef and the manager, she, uh, overheard, but I was all like, no, nah, I'll never call, um, a woman out there, uh, name like that, I'll never call them the B word, that's just, uh, a thing that I have with myself, and I think that day, my manager, she gained a little bit of respect for me as a human being, because, no, you would think, like, okay, like, you know, he's a, he's a young man, he's gonna be most likely listening to rap music, where they be referring to women as that and stuff, he done probably done seen some movies, got friends where they, uh, be, you know, referring to women as, uh, the B word and stuff, and I'm like, look, I might be surrounded in that environment, 
but that doesn't mean that I have to be a part of that environment. So I'm like, to any female friend out there, you will never, unless we're acting in a movie and that's in the script, that will probably be the only reason why I will call a woman out their name. But other than that, and you, the thing is, is this, you will have to say like some downright evil stuff to me in order for me to get to that point. Like that's like some next level uh, anger. So that's why I'm all like, you you would have had to have done something to me. But if you're on some stuff like, oh, you're a horrible content creator. You're a horrible person. You're this, you're that. You're like, just like, you're trying to say any of that. I feel like the basics, you know, if you hit me with the basics, I'm just going to pretty much give you a basic attitude. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> like, anyways, I'm gonna go on about my business and things. But yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like, it usually, for me, it takes a lot for me to get to that point, you know? And I have to say, I'm trying to think, have I ever been to that point before? I don't think I ever have. Like, I've been to points where I've been mad, but yeah, I'm like, if, uh, with some situation where I'm, uh, you know, getting into it with a woman, and it's like, yeah, it's just, that's something that's not crossing my mind. I'm thinking of how can I get them to a point where I'm going to, like, cause them to really get upset. Like, I want them to be yelling. Like, I want to, the thing is this, I don't, well, I, you know, I can't say that I don't say things, um, like, you know, being disrespectful, like, cause I, the thing is this, you disrespect me, I'm gonna disrespect you back. I'm like, this disrespect is rated E for everybody, kid, woman, man, elderly, I don't care who it is, okay? So I'm all like, you know, anybody walking the face of this earth, you disrespect me, I am going to disrespect you back. That's just facts, all right? But no, what I overall look for is that what can I say that's going to cause everybody, like, if we're surrounded by a group, I'm like, what could I possibly say to either get everybody around us to laugh at them, or what could I say to get them to a point where they're, like, angry, and they're crying, and they're all upset, but I'm like, what, without, like, calling them a name, like, what could I overall say, because I'm like, I'm saying, I've been in some situations, like, it wasn't a woman, but I just remember back when I was a kid, and there was this, and I was like, after that, I was like, that's my goal, I need to have that same energy with everybody that I get into it with but anyways so there is this kid I've told this story before but just in case if you're new to my podcast there was this uh time where I was in elementary and this kid he started making fun of my last name my last name is Moss and he was all like oh he was like your name grows on stuff and he's like I guess I, I think he was trying to bully me and so I flipped it back on him started making fun of his last name this kid was in the classroom literally crying started screaming I'm gonna kill you they had to walk him outside and I'm thinking to myself he made fun of my name. Then when I flipped it back on him, it's like, you're you're getting upset. Like, I didn't get upset when you made fun of my name. I just flipped it back on you. I thought we were playing cards. I thought it was my turn, you know? So it's like, how are you going to, like, get mad? And I'm like, yeah, stuff like that I just never understood. But it's funny because me and that kid, um, we ended up becoming friends after that and things. But uh, And I'm trying to think of some other situations. Like, I even think of times, like... I've never said anything disrespectful, I feel like, to my sister, but I do remember a time where I had, um, I was showing, I think my sister, she like, uh, she walked in on, uh, me showing my mom this video, so of course she looked, and then, uh, it was like a video of this guy fighting all weird and stuff, and, uh, she was all like, oh, that's how you fight, and then that's why I had, I'm like, you know, going back to my card philosophy, I'm like, oh, well, now it's my turn, I'm not gonna get mad, I'm just going, you know, I, like I said, it's my turn, so I said to my sister, I was like, well, you look like the guy, then she got mad, and then looked over at my mom, talking about now, make him apologize, I'm like, I will get whooped before I apologize to you, like, that's, that's the energy that I'm on right now, so you can, you can try me if you want to, but I'm all like, I'm, I'm dying on this hill, I'm not gonna apologize, when you're the one that started, I, I just, I don't get that, I'm like, I ain't said nothing to you, so it's like, really, I mean, to come on now, think about that, so, but anyways, um, but no, overall, though, it's all like, that's just getting back to the point and things, like, talking on, uh, Andrew and Tristan Tate, because I feel like I ain't went, like, way off in left field, all right, we're back on the main road now, but anyways, um, but no, it's like, with them two, and I really don't know too much about Tristan Tate. I feel like that, just talking on him real quick, if it wasn't for Andrew Tate, nobody would know who Tristan Tate is. I feel like there's probably a lot of people that don't even know who Andrew Tate is. So it's like, 
if the, if Tristan was to walk around talking about, oh, I'm Tristan Tate, I'm I'm this guy, I'm that, I'm a I'm a famous content creator. I'm like, no, your brother is a famous content creator. You're a nobody. I'm like, that's it's it was funny because so the main reason why I'm doing this uh, podcast episode is because so both of them had went viral for going off on uh. Dude, and it's such a dumb thing to go off about. I'm like, you guys is just coming off as haters. But so anyways, um, Mr. Beast, I think he might have posted a video today. If not today, he posted a video recently that had all these uh, different content creators in it. And I think it was recently. I don't think it was um, a video posted today and stuff. But let me just check real quick. Yeah, it was a video posted um, two weeks ago. And it's titled, 50 YouTubers Fight for a Million Dollars. And, uh, they were, so they were going off on how Logan Paul had looked, they were going off on, uh, KSI, and then they got to, uh, where they started talking about, um, uh, I Show Speed. Now, before I get into this next part, I must let you guys know that, uh, um, the Tate brothers, they are biracial, they are, I, let me just check again, they are black, but they, um, uh, I think... Hold on for a second. I, uh, Andrew, cause I, hold on for a second. Cause I, maybe they're not, um, is, hold on for a second. Cause I is Andrew Tate Black. He is, okay, he, he is biracial. What about the, cause I am gonna talk on, uh, Sneakio, um, or Sneeko, whatever his name is. Uh, Sneeko is Sneeko Black. Where do you, um, maybe he's not. Oh, he's, uh, he's Haitian and, um, Filipino. Okay, so I was all like, there was somebody where I felt that, um, they, I was like, I just, yeah, I, I was confused, because I'm like, there is somebody, but regardless, though, it's like, I feel like they're the type of guys where they, on a, just on a regular, they don't identify as black, like, if they're trying to get, like, some business deal, and they're asked, like, oh, what do you identify as, I guarantee, and I promise you, they're not gonna say black, they they'll say anything else besides black, they just don't come off as black people, you you know, it's like, and it's, and if you just pay attention to how they act, yeah, it's like some ignorant black people, but I feel like even then, it's like, they're just, they don't look like the type that just be going around identify. I feel like when it comes down to some, uh, trouble, then they'll probably, like, or something where there's a reason for them to identify as black, that'll be the only time. And I feel like they'll probably, they'll say something racist, and then they'll be getting canceled for it, and then they're like, oh, well, I am biracial. I'm like, I, my, my, whoever, whichever parent, um, was black they were like but my parent was black they're from an african descent and i'm all like yeah but you wasn't claiming that before it's like you saying all these racist stuff and it's like when you're out here talking about you're just saying racist derogatory things to a person you don't even know them like that it's like fam all right because the reason why i say that is because i know there is a friend of mine's me and them, me and him we would joke around we would say uh but he was also black and uh yeah me and him we would constantly joke around and say uh racist things to each other but that was our sense of humor that's what like type of energy we were on anytime we seen each other it's all like yeah he say something racist to me i say something racist to him and that was our sense of humor but that's the thing though with the tape um brothers you don't know i show speed so you can't be sitting here calling this man all out his name saying racist things about him and then think like Oh, okay, like, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's fine, that's, that's normal, that's okay, but it's all like, oh, and I feel like after this video then went viral, they're like, oh, well, we are black, we're that, like, yeah, but you guys, y'all just don't, you don't look like it, act like it, like, you don't even represent it, so it's like, yeah, you guys, y'all is just on some weird stuff, you know, but anyways, um, but yeah, it's all like, they were just going off on him randomly, and I'm thinking to myself, like, fam, Tristan shouldn't even be talking because it's all like you only have a platform because of your brother and then talking on your brother It's all like that's one thing that I'll say about and I think the both of them both Andrew and Tristan I think both of those guys um were like I don't know if they're currently like out on bond or if that court stuff got situated But anyways, it's all like I show speed has never been in a situation where he was gonna go to prison You guys on the other hand though. Can you guys say the same thing? I'm saying it's like you guys like didn't you have like some sort of trafficking case surrounded you? Meanwhile, I show speed. It's like what you're getting on him for being in a Mr. Beast video. I mean, really, when you sit down and weigh the scales, what would you rather be a part of? Would you rather be a part of some big old giant trafficking sting where it can put you in prison for a certain amount of years? Or would you rather be in a Mr. Beast video and potentially win a million dollars? 
I mean, if you know, you sit down and think about it, you know, you want to like be like the Tate brothers, then it's like, I, you know, the thing is this, if that's even something that you got to sit down and think about, you, you're not going to make it far in life. And that's how I feel like with them Tate brothers, it's like, they're not, they got a platform now. They're doing good now. But and I felt like that with uh, Andrew Tate. It was like, yeah, at one point in time, like, you had the whole world looking at you. But I feel like now it's like people only really look at you when you're talking about somebody of a bigger, you know, like, fan base and stuff. Because I guarantee and I promise you, I show speed. He got way more fans than them Tate brothers combined. So it's something where it's like, yeah, if it comes down between taking it could, and, I, and that's the thing where it's like still i'm just confused by like what was the reason of even going off um on him he ain't did nothing to and that might be the situation where they probably was all like oh and i and i feel like it's it's either a jealousy thing or they were mad or like mad at him because they probably tried to invite him out on their uh podcast show whatever they want to call it but um probably yeah that if there's anything they probably um invite him out to you know do some uh content with them and uh he just declined he was all like no i don't want to be a part of you guys like yeah aiden ross he might have had no problem being with you guys but it's like i'm i'm saying like that's that's aiden speed and them they're two different people you know so it's like it's just it's one of those things where it's and you just see where speed is at now i'm like yeah i if i'm in speed's position now where i'm overall trying to better my content creating career and you know overall just like show my audience that i don't have to be this toxic creator because i feel like speed he's living his life right now this man is out touring the um the world he's over here uh like making memories and moments literally with every content creator he gets involved in i'm saying what other things like yeah you see speed like years ago versus now literally two different people the tape brothers on the other let, let's just overall see how old the tape brothers are and then uh let's see how old uh speed is T andrew tate he is uh 37 you're 37 years old talking about a hey, how old and let's just see real quick how old i show speed is and then i'll look up um tristan's uh his age he's 19 so speed is 19 years i feel like he's been 19 for like the past like five years <laughs> like speed he's been 19 for a minute now but if he's 19 he's 19 but uh anyways and then uh tristan uh tate let's see his age he's 36 years old so you guys are in your 30s talking about a teenager is if it's supposed to stand out like that that's honestly sad that's honestly some sad stuff right there and i'm like i've been in speed's position before where i am at that age and i am having people of an older age talking about me and it's such a weird thing to look at and it's funny because it's like you guys are in your 30s like you might overall think that you got your life together but if you're sitting around smoking cigars bald overall talking about teenagers is if it's supposed to stand out if it's a and then they were getting on logan paul all like oh he's a grown man he's this he's that and i'm thinking to myself like fam what does them two overall anybody anybody that you guys talk about what does that have to do with you i know people will probably ask me that same question it's all like well what is uh talking about um uh the tape brothers what is that what is their situation got to do with you i'm defending content creators that i actually like what's their excuse you out here talking negative on some creators you trying to spread hate to their channel and it's like you gotta understand that you gotta realize that the amount of hate that's gonna be going coming from the tape brothers because i'm pretty sure it's probably a lot of people that they got hating on them so it's probably uh just fans going over i was like oh the tape brothers don't like i show speed and logan paul let's go over there and support their channel let's go like their videos let's go uh you know support them on streaming platforms logan paul he oh he's a wwe wrestler now oh let me go and uh go to one of his wrestling shows and see uh like what he got going on and things but anyways it's like these guys are actually doing something with their lives like any and everybody that they talk about they're actually doing something with their lives like i said with logan paul you got logan paul where he got one of the biggest drinks in the world right now with his friend ksi that they also talked about so both of those guys excluded out but anyways no if we could just sit down and talk about all the accomplishments that i've seen so far from uh logan paul and ksi you got what well, yeah logan paul part owner of a big um energy drink 
uh, WWE wrestler, also the United States champion. I might not mean a whole lot because I know people are like, oh, wrestling's fake and this and that and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, fam, there are wrestlers. I feel like there are wrestlers. Let's just see which wrestler hasn't had the United States championship, which, and I'm pretty sure it's a much more bigger wrestlers than uh, Logan Paul, which wrestlers hasn't um, won the United States championship uh triple <laughs> that's crazy triple h literally the face of wwe right now he signed it off that logan paul is going to be the united states champion triple h literally a a not even just a wwe but a wrestling legend Logan Paul has done something. I mean, yeah, Triple H, he got a bunch of other different championships that uh, that speaks a lot louder than the United States Championship. But still, though, that's something where it's like, wow, you know, it's like Logan Paul, he did that. Where are some other things? Oh, he got a big uh, podcast, the um, Impulsive uh, Podcast. Um, so, uh, big old giant, uh, um, YouTube channel, I, channels or cha- I, I don't think, I don't know if Logan Paul got more than one channels, but if he does, I'm pretty sure the second channel or however many channels he got, they got a lot of subscribers. He has a beautiful wife, getting her to have a beautiful kid. I'm saying it's like Logan Paul, if it came down between having Logan Paul's life or even Tristan, uh, well, you know, no, Tristan say, I'm like, his his life, I'm like, I ain't trying to say like, oh, it's like meaningless or worthless or there ain't nothing worth living for. But I'm just saying, it's like, it definitely, it, it ain't no competition when you're weighing the scales of uh, Logan Paul and Tristan Tate's life. But if, it, if it's a matchup between Andrew Tate and Logan Paul, I'm definitely choosing Logan Paul's life. Because I'm like, Logan Paul, he's living the life right now. That's a life that I actually would like to live. Successful YouTube channel. If I th- th- throw in WWE, I'm like, fam, I definitely will be a WWE wrestler. Throw that in the mix. Beautiful wife, getting ready to have a beautiful kid. Yeah, throw that in the mix. I'm saying, like, that's stuff that people aim for in life. Not sitting around talking about other people gossiping, literally looking like cast members of that uh, movie Mean Girls. But anyways, talking on KSI. I wonder if they mentioned Kai Sinat. But even if they, because I, like, I, it was, like, I seen that clip earlier today, so I really don't remember everything. I just watched it one time, but I do, like, did see they talked on KSI, and I shall speak, and I will be you know just overall talking on them but if they did talk on Kai Sinat real quick rather have Kai Sinat's life uh than uh the Tate brothers lives but anyways yeah let's talk on KSI KSI part owner of uh Prime Energy uh got a successful music career going on uh what else successful in boxing what are some other things successful YouTube channel I'm saying like he you know loving family got like a a little brother that he can literally have collaborations on collaborations I think any it's funny how them two I feel like that KSI and Deji they you can put them at literally the smallest points of their career of their content like just not even just content creating but just overall career everything that they've ever done you can put compare their um careers to the Tate brothers careers still at the smallest point i would rather be deji just starting off on youtube than to be andrew tate and tristan tate right now like yeah it deji he probably had like however many but it's like that's the thing though that's actually the dope thing about deji and comparing deji to tristan tate deji you can look at him and see deji you don't necessarily see, because I know I was, uh, I think that, yeah, I remember when I had very first started watching, uh, Deji, KSI, and all those guys, like, Sightman, and all those guys, I started off watching Deji, I seen him as his own person, so it's like, that's the one dope thing about Deji, comparing him to Tristan Tate, is that people see Deji when they see Deji, When they see Tristan Tate, they see Andrew Tate. So (laughs) I'm saying it's like, it's one of those things where I wonder if Tristan Tate, if he has like uh, any like social uh, media account. Tristan uh, Tate. Let's just, let's just see real quick. He has a Twitter and he has an Instagram. Let's just see. Oh, Uh, 3.1 million followers. Okay. Good for him. Uh oh, he don't, I don't think he has no uh Instagram. But uh okay, so it's three um three point what was it? Three point it was like all right, just three million. Uh okay, then let's see uh with Deji. 
3.2 million okay roughly roughly the same 2.4 million so he he got a little bit of uh more but i feel like overall let's see youtube wise if we if we talk in youtube yeah 12 million yeah deji in my opinion he's still a much more bigger content creator than uh because he i feel like deji yeah he just really be posting when uh um like maybe after an event or when he's uh posting a youtube video and things but other than that it's like he he i broke neon's glasses oh, i definitely gotta see that video but anyways and then yeah ksi i'm like you know you he's much more i think he'll definitely always will be bigger than both those brothers combined and then uh same way i show speed it's like you guy where yeah at one point in time he was this cringy kid on the internet but at least with him he managed to come back from that he's getting older he's getting wiser here it is you guys older much older than him should be setting an example for him and you guys are like y'all are going in the opposite direction i i don't i don't get that i don't get how it's like you guys are literally 36 and 37 years old meanwhile you got a 19 year old kid that's acting better than you guys that's sad that's really sad and i'm like and if you guys had like some Per, like parenting figures in your life they didn't do a good job that's just some no because the thing is this i know people will probably be all like that's disrespectful but it's like all the people that they've sat down and disrespected no they need a taste of their own medicine your parents did not do a good job raising you guys and that's sad that's sad that's like you guys done made it no the fact that it was like from birth all the way up until 18 years of age, your parents had everything that they possibly could have, like, or could have shown you anything to possibly taught you guys to just do good in life. All, and if they, my thing is, is this, if they did, if they did overall try to put you guys in the right path, and you decided to carry on how you're acting right now, I, then yeah, you, if it ain't the parents' fault, then it's like, yeah, you guys just got, uh, mental issues. Because I'm like, that, do, that doesn't even make any sense to me. You got parents that overall put you guys on the right track, yet y'all still fell off as being some 30-something-year-old has-beens talking about people online. That's sad. That's just flat-out sad. And that's somewhere I'm like, yeah, and then, uh, then I heard that with the clip that I seen earlier, Tristan Tate, he got, it just like his brother, got like this like macho man uh, you know, just like, a uh, hostility, this mindset, but so anyways, he, uh, he goes, and, uh, he's getting mad at I Show Speed, because I guess, um, Speed at some point in time, uh, screamed in the kid's face or something like that, and, uh, Tristan Tate was all like, oh, he, if he screamed in my kid's face, I think he said he'd slap him or knock him out or something like that, but he was like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll slap him, and his security guard, I'll slap him too, and his security guard is 6'4", and I'm 6'4", and I, like, and I, I'm telling you right now, I, oh, i knock him out, and I'm like, like man, just stop it, I'm like, just, that's all I'm gonna say about that, just stop it, I'm like, you ain't knocking nobody out, bro, because I think they were, like, uh, um, fighters and stuff, let me just overall look it up real quick. I think they did get into some uh, fighting. So it's funny. You look up Tristan, or yeah, you look up Tristan Tate. His brother's Wikipedia page pops up, but it's like they, yeah, they ain't got nothing. He he ain't got no Wikipedia page and stuff. And so, but anyways, oh he, uh, oh he's actually done a lot of different uh, kickboxing. He was um, eighty six total, like eighty six fights, seventy six wins, nine losses. Oh, I guess that's good uh mma uh six fights so there's like four wins two losses why not just you know i ain't gonna question it but anyways um but yeah it's like y'all is like 30 years old it's like you guys gotta act your age it's like do stuff that's actually gonna be productive in your life but it's like you're sitting around talking about uh 20 something year old uh men 19 year old kid it's like if that's the best that you guys can do at 30 man i it's like at some point in time we are gonna look up and it's just gonna there's gonna be a lot of different content creators that they talked about that's gonna pass them up in their careers and they they can't do nothing about it but it's like they're gonna see a lot of that and then they just gonna see their um content creating careers just drastically slowing down dying off nobody is not watching them nobody is not caring about their content I don't know if Andrew uh, Tate and uh, Tristan Tate, they got YouTube channels and stuff, but let me just see real quick. Nope. Nope, they do not have no uh, um, YouTube channels. Probably did at one point. Then when they just started talking all that weird crap, then it's like, yeah, it's, you know, you guys 
Nah, it's like, y'all messed up. Y'all, you guys messed up your careers. What about uh, Tristan Tate? Let's see if he uh, um, has a YouTube channel. Probably not. Nope. There's like, he ain't, he ain't got one either and stuff. That's just, that's that's so sad. I'm like, that is so sad. I'm like, here it is, you guys. And it was like, probably prior before they uh, started being all weird and cringy on the internet, they probably did have YouTube channels doing good for themselves. And then all they just want to do is sit around, disrespect women and disrespect any other content. I feel like now they're looking at it, it's like, oh, well, we done disrespected women. Now let's just start going around disrespecting different content creators and stuff. I'm like, yeah, good, good luck with that. But... Anyways, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode. May or may not do a part two to this. I guess if there is some other things to uh, talk about with the Tate Brothers and stuff. But anyways, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys. Stay tuned for the next episode and peace.